Welcome to Metabolism Matters. I'm Jennifer Woolley. Today, we'll be talking about feeding critically ill patients. Feeding critically ill patients isn't easy. This is because acute illnesses can stress a patient's metabolism and make it difficult to anticipate their caloric needs. To emphasize the difficulty in calculating a critically ill patient's caloric needs, let me share this fact. Did you know more than 50% of ICU patients wind up malnourished? When a patient suffers from malnutrition, they can become dependent on the mechanical ventilator. This means they will be in the hospital longer, which increases morbidity and mortality, as well as costs. The dietitian's job is to protect patients from malnutrition by providing proper nutrition intervention. And luckily, there are tools to help the dietitian do just this. One tool is predictive equations to estimate energy expenditure. As an example, this is the Harris-Benedict equation. Predictive equations are often used because they are convenient and inexpensive. Unfortunately, they have many drawbacks. There are hundreds of equations. There is lack of consensus about which equations are the best to use, which leads to significant practice variation. And they are only accurate less than 40% of the time. Less than 40%? Let's get another tool, shall we? Let's look at indirect calorimetry. First of all, what is it? Indirect calorimetry uses inspired oxygen consumption and expired carbon dioxide production to accurately calculate energy expenditure. The coolest thing about indirect calorimetry is it's a measurement, not an estimate. It's also objective and accurate because it's tailored to each patient. And it's not just me saying that. According to the Society of Critical Care Medicine, and the American Society for Parenteral and Enteral Nutrition 2016 Guidelines for the Provision and Assessment of Nutrition Support Therapy in the Critically Ill Patient, indirect calorimetry should be used to determine energy requirements when available. That means if you've been asked to follow SCCM and ASPEN guidelines, you should be using indirect calorimetry. So the next question people ask is, what are the equipment options for indirect calorimetry? Equipment options include metabolic carts, handheld or tabletop devices, or, and I find this to be the easiest, an indirect calorimetry or airway module built into a mechanical ventilator. Well, that's it for today. I'm Jennifer Woolley for Metabolism Matters. See you next time.